Yeah, it looks you know, like Doug, right? it has that yeah. right kind of form factor. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty good jump. That's like a grasshopper. <laughs> Very cool. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I'm at CES 2024 and I'm looking for interesting, fun, and downright quirky companies. This is one of them. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I am doing this on my own today, so it's gonna be a little bit funky. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to introduce Alexi from Leo, Ro I, Leo Botics, yep. who uh, they're in, from Lyon, France, and you are here in the United States. There we go, Lyon. Yep. And you have some awesome, uh, a dog form factor robot, a sort of child's to toy form factor robot, and uh, a pick and place oh. robot, and yep. also this little guy. This little <laughs> guy that can dance, for instance. There, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. So you have, you know, anything from the very small to the very large. And, exactly. And so basically, yeah, so tell us, tell you, sorry, tell me about the company. What do you have for yeah, us? Yeah. So basically, Leobotics, the goal is to reference every robot that exists in the world. So we made this uh, website where we have uh, every uh, type of category. So you can find like delivery robots for restaurants. You can find uh, cleaning robots for professionals, cleaning robots for uh, individuals also more of toy robots, educative ones. We also do courses for uh, children to help them learn how to program, how awesome. to use robotics. That's great. And so so yeah. what sort of a language would they learn, would they learn to program uh, the so robots? This, uh, this guy here uh, might, uh, might be used in uh, ROS, okay. in uh, Python, and in Scratch. So Excellent. you can okay. really like, uh, adapt it to okay. what you so, want. Yeah. So if you're an educator, you could pick whatever language you're most yeah, comfortable sure. using. And, and that's, that, that's what we do also. Like On the website, you can find this comparator. If you, if you like to learn how to program, you can just go on the website and select the right category, like educative, and then you can find the right language. <laughs> and all of that. Now I so, get distracted. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So what is what is this guy's name? This guy's name is Light Three. Light Three. It's there from we go. Deep Robotics. It's okay. Our uh, our partners. Gotcha. So um, this is mostly used to. Uh, oh, look at that! That's security, adorable. Um, <laughs> Uh, and so we've got this one version of it has just camera based, right? Yeah. So this is the, the remote control. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It has uh, one camera and one 3D camera to make like obstacle avoidance. Okay. Um, you also have a version with a higher version with a LiDAR on it. Right. So that you can right. make a really a uh, large mapping of every of its environment. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so like use cases for, um, for <laughs> I really like the way it kind yeah. of like settles like that. That's awesome. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Are we Are we gonna do something fun? No, he ran out of battery. Oh, it ran out of battery. <laughs> well, good. We'll just talk here then. Oh, poor guy. He's dead. So he's dead. Uh, yeah. It, this is what happens when you have to yeah. demo it all day long as it runs out. Yeah. So, so the use cases for uh, a sort of dog type robot. Yeah, yes. the dog type robots are the the main use is like to to be able to go under every terrain. So every terrain where a robot with wheels cannot go, this guy will, will be able to. So it's a lot used for rescuing purposes, for instance, like if, for, if a firefighter has to go check if there is survivors under a, a building, a broken building, this guy can just go, you can remote it and you can just go to see what's up there. Excellent. For uh, security also, like you put a camera on it and you make it patrol all around, it will be able to see if there is intruders, if there is like a fire, uh, stuff like this in and, the industry, it's really And useful. I think you were telling me before that you can add sensors to it, like an air quality sensor or something like that. So yes, you might be able, uh, I mean, so basically the quadruped robot, it's like the base for movement to make right. it walk everywhere you want, okay. but you can add anything. I mean, right. everything is possible with robotics and that's what, right. why I like right. it. So it's, it's more of an enabling form factor. It just yeah. allows you to. You, yes. you could imagine having like an arm on it that can right. Uh, that right. can I don't know pick up things on the ground with right. the camera. You could imagine like programming uh, to see uh, if there is like a box down there. They and it right. would be able to grab or, it. Or you know even something in a place like this insanity yeah. here, you could have one that was wandering around just picking up trash. Yeah. If it or, saw yeah. oh and there he goes. <laughs> and there it goes he's, again. He's having fun. I, I'm telling you. Also, this is just fun. They, did, you, they, did you see the jump already? Uh, I don't think I've seen the jump, no. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, cool. Make it jump, Gucci. <laughs> so I hate to say this, but as a consumer, of course, I can also see an eventual use for these as pets. 
Uh, you know, yeah. because I, they, they're, they're because they look like dog. Yeah, they, they look you know, like dog, right? it has that yeah. right kind of form factor. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty good jump. That's like a grasshopper. <laughs> Very cool. Wow. Yeah. And so, yeah I, so I'll let him. I'll let him move around for a little bit. But basically, yeah, so, for now, the, the use is uh, <laughs> as uh, as a pet is not really. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Is not really uh, enabled, but right. But you you have a lot of different uh, pet robots on the web on the right. robotics.fr too. So if you if you would like to have to see what's what's uh, new on pet robots, you can right. always go on the website also. <laughs> but I, I mean, this is also very very useful, and I really like the idea that it's kind of a base enabling embodied robot. So yeah. tell me a little bit about the autonomous version. So obviously you get the lidar, so you can scan the yeah. environment. What else do you, does that? It, does it come with its own sort of end-to-end -end neural network uh, stack? So I mean, there, there is a lot of different uh, quadruped right. robot. Uh, each okay. each one, each brand has is different uh, autonomous uh, right. uh, version of it. Right. Uh, I, I think this one, if you if you make it autonomous, you will be able to map uh, the the environment and have points of interest. Right. So you can say, uh, let's go to that point, which is right. the right. I don't know. The, so again, for something like patrolling, security. Yeah. You can Checking. say if there is a problem there, you can send the send directly the the, the robot there. Right. It will walk okay. there, make its path, its path, and okay, and you will be able to see. Cool. Uh, so tell me a little bit about this guy. I'm going to try yeah. to like bend down, and we're gonna we're gonna talk. So what is this one's name? This one's name is Buddy. I'm, Buddy? I'm just tur turning it on again okay. because he had no battery left. Right. Right. But yeah, <laughs> so he's charging this, up. This again. guy is um, Buddy. Is basically made for uh, companion robots for okay. uh, older people. Right. Like it, it's really a lot used in uh, hospitals. Okay. To have like So you already have it deployed in in hospitals. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. It's cool. made for. It's made in France. This one. So yeah, our partners, um, Blue Frog Robotics, did, right. did, did it. Okay. Um, it's yeah. It's really focused on uh, being a, an emotional companion. All right. So for uh, old there people, it's really nice. For uh, children with handicaps, also, it's all it, it's really useful. Right. You have like little games that they can play with it. Uh, okay. To learn like uh, emotions and stuff. Okay. And you said uh, I think you were saying it's it's ChatGPT. It has an interface. So. Yes, it's integrated. Also, you have like uh, you have a lot of different applications on it. Okay. Uh, one of them is ChatGPT, so you can just right. click on ChatGPT and it opens. And then you can speak to it. You, you can right, have a conversation. Right. Yeah, and that's pretty. That's pretty yeah, fun. Very cool. That's very. Uh, you know, I was. I've been saying the. Yeah, twenty is waking up. Yeah. <laughs> so twenty twenty four is the year of embodied AI. So that's definitely okay. yeah. you know something like this where you can put it in a form factor. That's just a lot of fun. Yeah. He also and has a lot of sensors to like uh, for the children to caress it and uh, right. he will react. Oh, oh, so it yeah. knows like if it's being touched. Yeah. Right now so. it's, it, it's still uh, starting up, but yeah. Right. You can I got you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Oh man. So yeah. So again, it's I. I mean, I. I say like, pet, and it sounds yeah. very consumer, but it is that kind of emotional companionship. Emotional you get with a pet. companion is the right, right word right, for that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what many of us get from our pets. Yeah. So I guess let's just touch on these really quickly too. Yeah, so you sure. said this is mostly an educational uh, uh, robot. This is mostly usually uh, in high schools to um, learn how to program robotics. You have a lot right. of different um, languages available, so right, any right. type of uh, student can uh, can find a way to learn stuff. Cool. Um, you have also like a lot of different accessories. You can just oh plug it. oh wow yep. oh yeah. Can, so the end of arm tooling it. is just yeah. like switch it out, do whatever you, you want. So, yeah, that's great. You also have that camera there that you, you can use to make a vision uh, right. vision context. Uh, I don't know problems. if you're of the right age, but I remember my children playing with Lego Mindstorms, which were the yes. little bots. Yeah. So this feels. A much more sophisticated version of that, yeah. but something That's where you can professional, yeah. right? But you can plug different things in yeah. and play, and this is a great way to teach, you know, yeah. young adults. It's really children. a lot used in yeah. uh, in high schools, and this is yeah. also made made in France. So we always like cool. to. Uh, work with a uh, made in France. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's very. I, I appreciate that. And then uh, is this guy is just a little bit more fun, or uh, <laughs> I made him dance. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy is more of a, um, a companion for a little compa for small companies. Right. Uh, right. You can make it uh, do the the um, welcoming process. Okay. With the so with you the can put it at your it. front desk in your office or something. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do on our, okay, uh, yeah. our store. And people come <laughs> in and they want to play with it. So yes, 
Okay. When you, when you, when you come in the store, you have this guy saying hello. <laughs> and, and you it, have your little pet. And you have yeah. also, yeah, this Oh, one. so, I, sorry, I cut you off at the beginning, but you said you were the first company, robotics company, that had a physical store. Is that what yeah. you were saying? It's okay. like, we are the first robotics store in France. Awesome. There was no, no before, so, yeah. Cool. That's the, the innovation, the innovative part of, right. the, uh, of the company. And so if people are interested, yep. look up leobotics.fr? .fr, or .fr, yeah. .fr. Okay, yep. so yeah, so look it up and, oh my goodness, he, he's doing push-ups push now. <laughs> okay, he does a lot more interesting stuff yeah, than I thought. So that's that's uh, very cool. After that, he will do Kung Fu. It's really impressive also wow. if, you want to, if you want to film it. Yeah. We'll just make it, yep. <laughs> I didn't realize, you know, I was thinking it was not that sophisticated, but all of a sudden it's... It, oh, he it has a lot of go. different uh, motors, it can right. do really a lot of different wow. stuff. You, you can also see it there that there is this yes. uh, motor for um, tilting the, 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 right. the foot. Right. That's impressive right yeah, there. That's really, that's very that's cool. really hard to do uh, as a robotics engineer. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's very sophisticated. Yep. You know, you think because it's a small form factor, it's not that sophisticated, yeah. but that's a very sophisticated but, but robot. In fact, it has also that uh, HD camera that can be used to oh, make so facial recognition. Okay. You can okay. use it to make like a QR code scan okay. and stuff like this. So it's so. able to, like, it could recognize a person yeah. coming into view and react yeah. to it. Okay. You have a lot that of sensors cool. available to program it the way you want. Uh, actually. Wow. Oh, and yeah. it's programmable too, yeah. so it's not just the built-in functions. And also you can do scratch, you can learn a bit how to program with it. Yeah. So, wow, so that's a very educational yeah. tool too, not just something else. Oh. That can be, but okay. yeah, when, when uh, some, some kids wants to learn how to program, we right. do not recommend this one because this is a lot, le a lot more expensive than right. uh, uh, small kits like this. Yes. This will be really uh, more uh, enjoyable for a kid to have instead of that. that right. can that's too sophisticated. So, right, yeah. right. But it can also be used as But it grows with you. So you you know, you could start with this one. Yeah. Sure. And you learn and when you want to upgrade you move to something like this, or if you wanna interested in uh, like a factory it, course or something like yeah. that in high school, you could use something exactly like that. So. Yeah. Wow, this is excellent. Thank you so much for spending the time and talking to me. I really do no appreciate problem, it. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> and uh, bon chance on, uh, at the uh, yeah. this and huge giant CES. <laughs> thank you for coming here. Thank you. Bye bye. Awesome.